Alright, so this is going to be a quick test of uh, just a cheap non fuel Milwaukee uh, brushless impact driver. Uh, bought this at Home Depot for $100, came with the charger and battery. Um, bought it mainly for just some housework, drilling stuff together, putting furniture together, but I wanted to see if uh, it could handle taking out plug bits. So I'm going to do three tests. One at 80 foot pounds, which is what my car is rated for. Then I'm gonna probably jump it up to 90, 100. Um, maybe go past 100 if it doesn't struggle too much at 100. So I'll start the test off. Here it is at 80. 84 pounds. Okay, 80 foot pounds. Took it off pretty fast. So 80s ago, let's go ahead and jump it up to, I mean since that took so fast, I'll just jump it straight up to 100. 100 foot pounds. Didn't even seem like a struggle at 100, so. Uh, let's go 120. 120. Check it off. My heels not. So, as you guys could see from the video, this non fuel brushless impact driver, M18 impact driver, was able to take off 120 foot pounds of torque without any problems. Um, I'm just using a, just the battery came with the 2 amp. I, I doubt that I even put a dent in the battery, but uh. And all I'm using is the Milwaukee's half inch hex adapter and just a see what is, uh, Harbor Freight impact socket. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, for a hundred bucks, this thing is pretty impressive. So, just wanted to end with, uh, I guess, some final thoughts. This is my little toolbox here. Unfortunately, it's not Milwaukee, but um, I like the way that I have it set up right now. Anyways, so I'm pretty impressed with this um, for being a non-fuel impact. Uh, I guess it's rated for 1,600 inch-pounds, which comes out to, I think, 133 foot-pounds of torque. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a test in another video. I might torque my wheels to 140. Seems a little dangerous though, but uh, not bad. Found it just browsing Home Depot. I guess it's normally, this kit is normally 150. It comes with the battery, the dual charger, and that bag right there. Um, probably gonna upgrade to a uh, an impact wrench. I'm thinking about actually the M12 stubby, but not too sure yet. Um, but yeah, not bad for $99.